Good afternoon. Welcome back to Stranded Sailor's Wines. Today we're preparing these beautiful pineapples to make a three gallon batch of wine. You see, we've already planted the tops. I done a short video to show you how to plant the tops off of pineapples to replant them. And I'm preparing this three gallon batch of wine, I'm cutting it up. I'm going to set it in the freezer, refrigerator overnight so that it can start its fermentation. But I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm using whole pineapples minus the top and the bottom. You leave the skin on for some of the flavoring. But I, I'm going to just chop up one to show you how I'm doing it. I'm using a scale. I'm going to weigh the pineapple after I cut the top and the bottom off so that I can keep an accurate record. I need about 10 or 12 pounds of pineapple to make my three gallon batch of wine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to be as quick as I can with this process. I just wanted to show you how I'm preparing these for this process. Thank you for tuning in to Stranded Sailor Wines today. Hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. All right, to start with, I'm gonna cut the top. I'm going to cut the top, and then I'm going to cut the bottom. And I'm going to discard the top and the bottom both. Then I'm going to turn the scale on, and I'm going to make sure I zero the scale, and I'm going to weigh it. And then I'm going to document what that weighs. Cause like I said, I need 10 to 13 pounds, uh, 10 to 12 pounds of pineapples for this three gallon batch of wine. And to make sure that I get as much as I can, I'm gonna leave the skin on it. That way I get as much flavor as I can get out of these pineapples. And I'm going to just quarter it. I'm leaving the hard core in it. I'm leaving the skin on it. I'm going to just quarter them and then I'm going to eighth them. Then I'm going to cut them down into small slices. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them sit in the refrigerator overnight to start the fermentation. I'm just preparing for a three gallon batch. Hope everybody tuned in to my how to plant your pineapples. Remember when you buy pineapples, make sure they got the heads on them. That way you can plant your own, grow some pineapples at home. Now I'm leaving the hard core in here. I'm leaving the skin on them. I'm using the entire pineapple minus the top and the bottom. We're going to be using a mesh bag to hold all the pulp inside the bag. And this should make a three gallon batch. Hopefully I got enough pineapple.
Like I said, I'm just making these about a quarter inch thick. Make it easier for it to break down. But leaving the skin on here will not hurt anything. It will just add flavor. The skin will add a little bit of tannins to the wine. That way I don't have to add tannins to it. Might need to get the bigger pot. All right. I want to take a minute and show everybody how I'm preparing pineapples for this three-gallon batch of wine. As you can tell, the next batch of wine for Stranded Sailors Wines will be pineapple. It's going to be a three-gallon batch of wine. Uh, I hope everybody tunes in to the next episode, which will be how, to, how we make the three-gallon batch of pineapple wine. But I thank you for tuning in today for preparations for pineapple wine, three-gallon batch. Thank you for tuning in. This is Greg. Until next time.